I believe this week is going to be a very important week for crypto and the entire crypto market, specifically for the altcoins. And so if you are heavily invested in the altcoins or you're waiting for that altcoin season, I recommend watching this video to the end because I'm about to hit you with some fire information. And the reason I think this week is going to be as important as it's going to be is we got to backtrack a little bit. So let's go ahead and do that. I made a video two days ago and I went live three days ago talking about my scalp short trade that I had. Okay, I had a nice PO3. We already talked about it in a previous video. And then the plot twist was that this was actually going to be a swing trade. Okay, now since that video and since I went live, if you were with me and you subscribed and with the notification bell and you got the notification that I was live, you could have been in this position with me that is now down 8%. So make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss the next one. But the target for this short and the reason that it was a swing trade was very simple. I warned you a couple days ago that Bitcoin was showing signs of weakness. Geo, we're talking about altcoins. Why are you talking about Bitcoin? I'm getting there. We're getting SFP after SFP after SFP. And whenever you have an SFP, what automatically becomes your target is the low that was unable to close above that high. Okay, so your structure right now on Biddy is low high, low high, low high, high SFP, right? We were unable to close with conviction above, therefore making your target this 63K. Now, why is this important for the altcoins? And why do I think that this week is gonna be a very important week? I'll tell you this. It doesn't even have to be a week. It could happen in the next hour. I don't know, but I believe it will happen at least at, or at the maximum within the next week. What am I saying what will happen? I believe that the expectational order flow for this scalp trade that I took on live with you guys on YouTube is this low and i mentioned this three days ago okay which means no matter what they do in between here i believe we are going to touch 63.457 give or take now what happens down here is very important i have been openly bullish on bitcoin dominance for quite some time okay i've been saying i don't think it's time for altcoin season yet i think 2024 is the year of biddy i think 2025 perhaps is the year for altcoins and so far it hasn't let me down this thesis because certain alts have made new lows like adam and like i've been saying alts may make new lows because typically what happens in the year of biddy is alts will bleed against bitcoin now why am i talking about this low i believe like i said and i've said this many times as well if we come to a different bitcoin chart we've you've seen this a million times if you've been around on the channel there are two numbers that we need to be paying attention to. Number one is the all-time high, obviously. And number two is this level, 53095. Now, I've already made my case for why I believe 53095 will get tapped before 73.9K. And I've said that while we were at the lows. And I've said that while we were at the highs. But I've already made my case for this. And dominance will correlate and your altcoin season will correlate to which direction Bitcoin decides to choose. Okay? So... Long story short, right now we're basically dead center of the range, okay? I believe that whenever Bitcoin makes its decision on which direction it's going to take in terms of whether it's going to tap the high or tap the low first, dominance will continue to rise. And this is very important, okay? Right now, many people are expecting somewhat of a pullback, which we're getting, and many people are expecting to bounce off of the golden pocket slash 786 zone. The problem that I personally have with this idea is in order for this to happen, you have to flip daily internal structure. I know that sounds weird, but daily internal structure back to bearish to get that, okay? Right now, this is your daily structure. And guys, I promise it's all gonna make sense in a second, we're getting there. In order for you to come back to this golden pocket, you need to flip daily structure to the downside. The problem with this is your expectational order flow, when this happens, at this point, if you were to get a clean break like this, is to make a lower high to then make a lower low. So if we start to break, in other words, if we start to break this line here, with daily candle closes, and I talked about this in the last video, if we start to close daily candle closes below this line, then your entire structure flips bearish and already off the bat, this becomes your target because you have quite easy liquidity that we can come and grab. And again, I've been talking about this very publicly. I've been shit on for talking about this, but this is what it is, right? We have a lot of liquidity down here. And especially if you start closing candles here, 
things are not looking good, and we are more so likely to hit the 53 level than the 73 level, okay? Now, remember, I believe dominance will continue to rise whichever way it goes, but if Bitcoin decides to come for the lows prior to it coming for the highs, then your altcoins will bleed against Bitcoin. I've said that, okay? If Bitcoin decides to go to the all-time high, I still think altcoins will bleed against Bitcoin. That doesn't mean that they're going to bleed against the US dollar, but I believe that they're going to bleed against Bitcoin. And then perhaps we can continue to range because even if we touch the, the high, because even if we touch the all-time high, I don't believe it's sustainable. I don't think we're just going to break out to 80. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. And so if we range or we fall back in, then you might see an altcoin season. But if you come down from that point, then you may not see an altcoin season. Now, the reason or not see an altcoin, not see an altcoin season from now. Now, the reason I even talked about my scalp trade in my level is because, remember, the expectational order flow, in my opinion, is to come down and touch this level at 63,413. So not only do we, or, so not only am I looking for shorts as many, so not only am I looking for as many shorts as I can until that level is hit, but what happens at this low becomes very important, right? If we start to close candles below here, then everything that I just said becomes a lot more likely. And I do think maybe we'll get a bounce off that golden pocket, but I do believe we might get that lower high to then make a lower low and 53K becomes a lot more likely and your altcoins will die. Now, why am I talking about the next week? I'm talking about the next week because look at how close we came to this level, guys, and we didn't come and take it. I'm going to give it about a week to hit that level, if not sooner. Like I said, this could happen in the next hour for all I know. But I'm going to give it for the next week to decide. And I do think it's going to hit the level. And what happens at the level is very important. We talked about what happens if you get the daily close there. But we didn't talk about what happens if you don't. Okay. Now, if you start to get SFPs or SFP after SFP after SFP, then the story changes. Okay. Remember, I believe whichever way Bitcoin goes, dominance is going to rise. So let's just assume in this case, now you get an SFP. What happens? Well, if you get an SFP here, similarly to how we had an SFP at the high and the low became your target, then your high becomes the target, okay? And not only will Bitcoin pump, I believe your expectation order flow will be to come take that high. You do have one last order block up here at 70-ish thousand dollars, which we could absolutely make our way back up to. I'm not saying we're not gonna do that. And in which case, this could be a giga short. This is that's an, another topic for another video. But in the event that you do that, not only are the altcoins going to be relatively healthy because Bitcoin's going to be pumping and not dumping, but dominance will continue to rise, like I said, like I believe. And at the end of the day, even whether we make it up here or not, at some point in some formality, I don't know if that's the right word, but it is today, in some formality, it will cause a continue of the range, a continuation of the range. And so if we pump here and the and however long it takes, let's say even if we don't make it to that level, we are still going to be within the range. And so we need to be paying attention to dominance because what did I say? I believe that once Bitcoin decides the direction that it wants to take, dominance will rise. But as long as we are in this range, dominance may fall and you may get a baby altcoin season. I'm not saying it's going to happen. I think it's more likely than not for dominance to continue to rise. But I think that this level, when this number is touched in the next week or so, it's going to give us a clear idea for what's going to happen for the entire altcoin season and for quite some time, okay? Now, personally, I believe August is going to be an abysmal month for crypto, okay? I might That might not age well, and you guys might come back in, in a month and say, ha, 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 Gio, that didn't age well. But for now, I believe it's going to be a bad month, okay? We have we had a bullish divergence on the daily time frame on Bitcoin, okay? We had a bullish divergence. Actually, it wasn't even a bull div on the daily. Like, we didn't even get really get a divergence. But we had, you know, some momentum to the upside, and we ended up getting a 30% move to the upside. Now we actually have a bearish divergence on the daily time frame on market site for B. So although I'm saying you could SFP here, you could come back up to here, I think even if we do that, we are still gonna roll over or we're gonna roll over from here. I don't know. I'm not a fortune teller. I'm not here to tell you that, like, I, I don't know, right? But in my mind, and I've made this case many times, I still believe 53.1 is gonna get hit before 74. I just believe that. That's what I believe right now. Again, I could be wrong. But 
This divergence doesn't look good. We have two-day red dot as well with money flow coming out. Nothing about this looks good, truly. Now, things can change, of course, but it all comes down to this line. If this line, we lose, we start getting daily candle closes here. Oh, baby, we're looking for a lower high for a lower low. You could even get a SFP lower low. But I believe if you start closing daily candles below 64, 63.4, I believe this is inevitable. And I believe that it's not time for altcoin season. And at that point, I think that any pullback you get, if you even get one, because of all the liquidity below, if you even get one, I believe that that is your time to exit the altcoins because it's not altcoin season yet. 2024 is not the time for alts. 2025 is, I believe. 2024, make way for Biddy. And I think that once you start losing this low, we will have our answer to whether we hit this line or this line first. That's it for today's video, guys. If you like the content, make sure to hit the like button. Shouts out to the sponsor of the channel, Market Cipher B. If you're looking to purchase it, the link is in the description down below. If you want to join my VIP Discord where I gave all these levels, all these setups before I come to YouTube, then uh, the link for that is also in the description to down below. And shouts out to the Nexus, man. We're doing some big things in the VIP, and I can't wait to announce it publicly. But um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Watch that number. It's a very important number. 63.4 thousand US dollars. Take care.